Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight on 207. I'm Amanda Hill. And I'm Peggy Kaiser in for Rob Caldwell. Tonight on 207, a group made up of volunteers that helps people explore Maine is finding new ways to survive during the pandemic. The changes the Maine Outdoor Adventure Club is making and how they are encouraging people to get outside. And you've likely seen his work, but didn't know the face behind some of the world's most popular cartoons. A conversation with animator Ron Campbell. First tonight, they are celebrities, social media influencers. They are trendsetters, and people all over the globe have clamored to copy <laughs> their outfits and wait each day for their latest post on Instagram. And they are pugs. Owner Lori Saroy calls them her little clowns because they are endlessly entertaining. But it is the joy these feisty little br dogs bring to her world and the world around her that inspires her to share them far and wide. Come on, yay, let's go. Let's go outside. Meet the Pugdashians. Named after that other famous family. Oh, you give them high fives, high fives, dashy high fives. Yay! Lori Saroy, the oh, dog mom of this clan, never set out to oversee a little doggy empire. Here, Dizzy Tunnels. Truth be told, she wasn't all that crazy about dogs in the first place. Oh, believe it or not, um, up until about 17 years ago, I was not even an animal lover. You get kisses? You get kisses? Yes. Yes, I love you too. If I saw people dressing up their animal, oh my gosh, it just really was. I was not impressed. I would roll my eyes and walk away like I get sometimes for when people see us dressed up. Oh, and what do we have here? It was a neighbor who walked a dog back and forth in front of Lori's oh house my. that caught her attention. And one day I went out and asked her what kind of dog it was. And she said, it's a pug. And I said, a what? And she said, a pug. Well, that's all it took. That might have been all it took for Lori, but it took her a while to convince her husband who wanted a big dog to get a pug. Sit. Dear Missy. Eventually, she found a litter for sale in Uncle Henry's. They paid that litter a visit, and you guessed it. We came home with our very first pug. She began taking that little dog, Puggy, to visit an elderly friend in a nursing home. It just warmed my heart to see how this little puppy could make people happy. Pretty soon, Puggy had a sister. When I saw um, the reaction people gave Puggy and the smiles they put on her face, I thought, I had something there. So I soon learned about therapy dog work, got Puggy um, registered as a therapy dog, Puggy and Sissy, and um, they did close to 10 years at Maine Medical Center as therapy dogs, and also um, many years at the youth center, visiting the kids there, and hospice work. Dressing them up started the second day I had Puggy at home. We had to go buy, buy her a nice, cute little collar and a cute little dress, and so it just grew from there. When I would take them on therapy dog visits, it just made people that much happier to see them dressed up. And we were at the hospital one day and Mrs. Bush was there and she uh, saw them and called us over and had her, her picture taken with the pugs. Beautiful, beautiful, I treasure that moment. It was just, yeah, wonderful. Lori started posting photos of her pugs, first on Facebook and then on Instagram. They caught on like wildfire. And now, like that other famous family, she has hundreds of thousands of followers. My life be like, ooh, ah. Lori nurtures the global following with daily photos and videos of how she dresses up the Pugdashians. We're always getting asked, how do the bows stay in their hair? It's actually quite simple. But the joy these dogs bring to her it. is very personal. About 10 years ago, my husband and I took in a, um, a young boy, 16 months old, that was uh, needed a, a home. He came kicking and screaming and crying, and it was just, we didn't know what was wrong. And um, long story short, you know, uh, he was diagnosed with autism. So he didn't talk until he was four years old, but um, I can, I know he would, lay in the middle of the floor just kicking and crying and screaming and I would just not know what to do and um, the pugs would just stay in the middle of the floor just looking at him looking back at me looking at him looking back at me and they were just so calm and the calm presence just kind of brought everything down and they just they just stayed by him the whole time and he's now um, 12 years old during 